Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com. And I think uh, about two videos back, I put up a video showing how I had just learned how to do panoramic uh, shots with my DJI Mini 2. And so I got all excited about it, and <laughs> I learned it from my friend Ian in the UK. And I'll put another link to his site down in the comments so that you can check his tutorial out because it's an excellent tutorial. Well, I got to thinking I'm going to have a little bit of fun with this, and so I made a couple more um, uh, pictures with it. And then I got to thinking somebody, I can't remember who, but a friend of mine on YouTube asked if he could see inside the uh, fifth wheel uh, that we're living in. And I thought, well, I don't want to try to fly inside. It's pretty crowded in there. And uh, But uh, after I got to thinking about it, now that would make a really good panoramic, panoramic shot. And so I decided, okay, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try and fly inside that 8 foot wide with the slide out, uh, that 8 foot wide uh, fifth wheel camper. So I took off from the uh, kitchen table. And you can see I blew away the <laughs> I blew away the placemats, and so here I am looking. And by the way, I I turned off the ceiling fan, but I left the air conditioner on. You can see the air conditioner is blowing the uh, the curtains. But amazingly, the Mini Two is staying very stable, even with the breeze from the from the air conditioner. But I always turn off ceiling fans, whether I'm in the house or out at the in the uh, fifth wheel because that puts a downdraft on the on the poor drone and it makes it very hard to uh, <laughs> for it to work so and by the way if you do fly inside and there's a ceiling fan don't get the blades caught up in that little chain that hangs down where you change speeds and turn on the light so here we are looking up towards the entry which is just to the right of the dog dish there and that's about a four foot wide strip maybe three and a half uh, right there so it's pretty crowded in here and I would that's why I was concerned I didn't want to uh, crash my drone inside here but believe it or not uh, it's very stable it's much more stable than my uh, my first mini the Mavic mini so I'm panning around here and showing what it looks like inside just playing around because I wanted to make sure that uh, I could fly in there so I I make a I made another video flying in there, but I made this one special just to kind of show you uh, what it looks like without doing a panoramic view. And so I'm coming down to there's that's the width of the trailer right there uh, from the left side of the window, the right side of that window. That's eight feet wide, so it's pretty crowded. And then uh, that there is a slide out uh, that goes out about two feet or so. And uh, so that when, you know, if we were going to travel, I'd have to pull that in, but we're not going to go anywhere. So and then uh, we'll go back up here again and you can see that the kitchen uh, stove and all that, that's on a slide out. So there's a lot, uh, a lot more room than I uh, had <laughs> had. Uh, I thought maybe it was going to be too crowded. But as it turns out, it's not too crowded. So now let's take a look at the panoramic view. And here we are again looking at the panoramic view and there I am this is uh, <laughs> this is in another video but I'm still sitting in the same spot and then you can see the uh, the uh, little hutch area there and uh, then you go on <laughs> it's a little confusing but then you're looking down the uh, the length of the of the fifth wheel and then over on the right hand side you're looking at the at the uh, tape kitchen table and so uh, anyway, that's uh, what I wanted to do was get a panoramic view to show people what it was like inside the RV. So in the process, I made this, I made the video uh, because I want. I found out that I could fly my um, Mini Two real easily inside the uh, fifth wheel. So one of the things that I also added to the end of this video is I'm using a smart controller, and I cannot get the the um, Bluetooth on my smart controller to work. For some reason, it it, uh, <laughs> it doesn't work. And I've looked on, on uh, YouTube. 
Nobody else seems to be having that problem, but uh, I I had the problem. So on this, so because I couldn't uh, use Bluetooth, I couldn't get the videos, the uh, panoramic videos, off of my smart controller. So this video that's coming up here uh, is a video I put together after I um, figured out a better way to do it than even using Bluetooth. So if you want to watch that, if you have a smart controller, I'd watch it. Otherwise, I just want to thank you for watching my videos, and God bless. Let's go take a look at the video on how to move files off of your smart controller. All right. Well, I learned this from a video I watched on YouTube, and I'll put a link to that uh, channel so that give him credit for, <laughs> for teaching me this. But it's about how to move files around in your smart controller. So to begin with, um, bring it up and then uh, over here on the right-hand side and the lower side, hit the thing with the four squares in it. And then it'll take you into here, and you can see right uh, in the top row, it says File Manager. So you just tap there. And now you've got videos and images and uh, everything that you, you know, the, everything that's on the... Uh, on the smart controller but we want to move an image over and so we'll go ahead and tap on images because that's we want to get our uh, there we go we want to get our pana panoramic uh, video so we're coming down here and so I know what the one I want is then where it says pano photo so I'll tap on that and then I get a whole bunch of them and the one that I want is, uh, yeah, that's uh, one of the wide-angle panoramic uh, uh, shots that I made. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, go back. Now, what we're going to do, instead of just looking at it, we're going to down here on the lower left, we're going to hit Edit. Okay? And uh, you can see the same pictures, and we're going to tap on the one that we want to uh, get off of our our smart controller. So we tap on that and then down at the bottom you can see where it says copy. So we're going to tap on copy. Okay, so now we got it copied. Now, when, as soon as we uh, get it copied, it switches to where we want to move it to. So we want to put it on the uh, SD card so we can put the SD card in our computer and get it off of there. So we'll tap on SD card and uh, we want to put it in DCIM with all of our other videos, so we'll tap on that. Now we're in DCIM. So now we're going to go ahead and click on Paste. And it's pasted into the uh, DCIM. And we're going to pull the uh, SD card out of the smart controller and copy that file onto our computer. So let's see how that goes. So there you go. You got a tour of our fifth wheel trailer and how to uh, get files off of your smart controller without having to use Bluetooth and connecting and pairing and all of that stuff. So I want to thank you for watching my videos and God bless.